What's up, everybody? This is Joe, a.k.a. The Dentist, and I am bringing you some GB 2v2 action. This is a domination game on launch. So, as you know, it's on launch, so this is default settings. This is not MLG variant. Uh, launch is not an MLG variant map. But uh, with me today on my team, I have a special guest. It is Holiday Doc. And, uh, you know, reason for that is I'm still doing dubs with Lloyd. Um, you know, I just left the team for this weekend because, uh, you know, he was out of town. I wanted to get some dubs action in i was getting really bored with the pub stuff right now so basically all we've been doing lately is running scrims and uh you know me and lloyd have been playing a couple dubs uh played one dubs match and uh you know i was kind of getting the itch i kind of wanted to play so um there here we are i asked doc and uh he said yeah let's do it let's uh let's play a couple so um reason we accepted default was uh it was it was really late you have to wait uh when you sign up for gb and start a team you have to wait about uh six hours or so before your eligibility comes in so uh you know we we made the team i made the team after work and so we're waiting for uh for that six hours it was really late it was around midnight and we just decided hey let's just accept some games and and play a couple we don't have to worry about whatever they are let's just you know hey domination game that sounds fun so that's what we went for and uh you know launch uh plays similar 2v2 that it does 6v6 in pub rooms uh it plays a lot um a lot of flag swapping goes down and uh you know it's the it's the spawns that that flip um from a to c and uh you know we when we first started this match i i said you know what do you think about going for a c and and letting them have b um and that's what we tried first as you can see we just lost a but uh you know i was going for the triple cap i, I knew we were losing a so i just said hey let's let's just jump on b um, that was pretty much our plan throughout this match was anytime we were losing a flag was to try to get the other flag. Um, and as you can see, they, they are trying to protect a, and, uh, you know, I get a stun check on this guy. I thought maybe he might be out there. I wanted to stun him again, but I couldn't. And I just waited way too long right here, getting back to him. And by that time the stun had worn off and he was able to get me. I, I feel like I made the right play there by by uh, stunning him. I just waited way too long to flank. I should have attacked the, the flank immediately, and I would have gotten the kill. So, um, you know, we we tried the AC thing, um, and it was uh, it, it, it it was okay for a bit. And uh, you know, we played the second round of this a lot better. We were able to triple cap. We were able to. Um, to hold them down and um, with the triple cap it was a lot easier to control spawns and um, you know we spent a lot of time on um, the second match being more spread out which I thought was really helpful um, for us we were able to win gunfights away from each other um, because really 2v2 and I actually heard that guy coming that's why I was waiting for him uh, neither of these guys were running ninja which was kind of surprising to me um, but um, you know, in 2v2, the basis of, of any game type is win two gunfights and, and uh, you know, you'll win the game. It's win two gunfights, let them spawn, win two more gunfights. And, uh, you know, because with the respawn delay, uh, five seconds for this uh, on domination, you know, you're able to keep them down and, and control the map that way. Um, so Doc's taking C. I'm, I'm saying it A right here. And uh, he gets C, but he actually gets taken off. So I'm going to try to rush back and, and get C back. And, uh, you know, they both jumped on it because they both spawned C. Um, so that was the thing that we, we were trying to uh, trying to figure out was what, what can we hold to try to hold them in a spawn trap. And the, and the C spawn trap, it, it wasn't really working because, uh, you know, unless we were spread out, um, it wasn't working too well for us. And as you can see here, they did spawn mid. And this is some bad aim on my part, so yikes, forgive me for that. But this guy had better position on me, but I was able to uh, pick him off with the headshot. But, um, you know, in the third or the second round of this, we were able to uh, to triple cap a lot. And when we were able to triple cap, it was a lot easier to control the spawns and, and predict where they might be at. Um, so that was, uh, that was a lot better the second match. And, you know, being able to hear these guys was actually really helpful for me. And they didn't actually figure it out until um, the second match of the second uh, map that we played. Um, they were like, 
you know, I, I, I actually told him after the game, I was like, hey, um, you guys might want to run Ninja in the future. And uh, the guy actually said, yeah, I figured that out about um, halfway through that second mat round there. Um, you guys were a couple times waiting for us to round corners, aiming down sights. So, yep, I can hear you coming from a mile away. So, um, you know, good headset. People think that, uh, you know, since they adjusted the footsteps, uh, Ninja Pro makes a really big difference. It is the first perk that I work on. As soon as I prestige, I, that's the first thing I do is go get my bomb plants and work on my silent skills and backstabs. and Because um, it does make a big difference with a, with a really good headset. So um, right here, going for the triple cap. Doc's controlling mid, kind of. And, uh, you know, I heard that guy. I just was way too late getting getting around to him. And... He picks me off. But what that did was it forced both of them to come back to B. Uh, you know, I'm kind of spawning in the middle here. We know that they're over by B. Uh, I'm going to come back and see if anybody was coming up ramp and uh, try to pick that up. Nobody did. So uh, right here, Doc's pushing into A. I'm going to try to stay on my side of the map on C, control this half. Um, I hear that we're losing A. I'm going to kind of come back and help in case he gets picked off. So once he, uh, once he gets his two kills over there, I'm going to go back to C because he's in their spawn now, um, and I'm going to pick up the spawn kill here. So that's one thing to remember is try to, in doubles, is try to spread out. Um, don't try to follow each other around. Um, you know, it seems like common sense, but a lot of times that happens off spawn. Kind of want to spread out. If, if you're down two flags, you're down, um, you know, three flags even, it's okay to jump on it with, uh, with two people. You know, it seemed like it worked there, and I almost shot Doc right there. <laughs> I heard him jump down, and uh, I am running lightweight, which um, you know I was kind of, I was kind of hit or miss. I, I changed it up on the second, uh, the second map that we played, which was Array. But I was kind of, uh, you know, I was I liked lightweight for this map. It felt like uh, you know I was moving a little quicker. I could get to a place where I needed to be without having, you know, I'm not running marathon obviously because I don't want to sound like a Sasquatch. So. Um, you know, with lightweight, felt like I could move faster, get on the other side of the map, and um, I'm actually uh, actually liking lightweight. Um, it is the uh, standard first perk choice for the MLG variant settings, but for uh, default settings, most people will run flak jacket to protect from nades. Um, didn't really get naded a lot this game. I think I got naded once. Um, one of their guys was running flak jacket. The other one was running lightweight, I believe, so... At this point, uh, you know, I'm going to stay on mine, let Doc win his gunfights, and, uh, you know, I'm going to protect my flag. Um, even though he did lose the gunfight right there, I'm, I'm now I'm going to start to push back because I don't want to get triple capped. I'm going to kind of try to control mid and see if I can pick anybody coming across the middle here. Um, we're going to try to push back towards C because we know both of them are there. They're not going to run for B because they already have B. Um, the only way they would run for B is if they're thinking that we're trying to protect it. At this point, um, that didn't, didn't really happen. We were able to pick up C. Um, they are coming through mid here. Doc's able to pick up the uh, kill off of the stun there. And, uh, you know, we're able to get the victory, 140 to 133. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I will be bringing you some more um, from the second match. And uh, I'm going to – we actually – this is the – I actually have the first match to post as well. So I uh, should be seeing a lot of dubs from us coming up here shortly. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let us know what you think of the video and uh, leave a comment. Thanks, guys.